Hey everybody, it's Krista with Eat Real America. So there is a fruit that screams the holidays. And there was a time along our real food journey, I wasn't really sure what it was or how in the world you got the pomegranate from here to here. Now I will tell you, you can absolutely buy pomegranate seeds just like this, already out of the pomegranate. But I will tell you that this is about $3 and if you buy the whole pomegranate, this is about $1.29. So you can cut your cost savings in half. Um, so what I wanted to show you is how we found out how to seed a pomegranate. Now, you'll see lots of ways out there how to do this, but I wanna show you our favorite. Um, because one of the ones that we tried at first was where you cut the pomegranate in half and you hold it over a bowl and whack it with a spoon. Okay, I am here to tell you there will be juice everywhere in the kitchen, all over you. So I'm not a fan of that trick. So the way that we like to seed a pomegranate is um, you are actually going to take and cut it um, in half. But what you're going to do is you're actually just going to cut down about a fourth of an inch and you're going to feel it kind of give and you're going to go all the way around. And then you're gonna twist it open. And so here's your pomegranate seeds. Now, so what I want you to do is we're gonna do the submersion method. So fill a bowl with water and we're actually gonna work in about a fourth of the pomegranate at a time. Um, so I, and you're gonna keep everything under the water and you will not have juice going everywhere. So I'm gonna put it under the water and actually break this half in half. And so the cool thing is, is once you start to work the pomegranate seeds out of the pomegranate, the seeds are going to, they're going to sink to the bottom and the pulp is all going to float to the top. And so you're just going to kind of keep breaking it apart and working the seeds out. Now, why am I showing you a pomegranate? Because a pomegranate is off the charts when it comes to antioxidants and being beneficial for your health. So, plus it tastes fantastic. Um, so once you kind of work out the pomegranate seeds, like I said, you're going to see the pulp is going to float to the top and all you have to do is scoop the pulp out and then drain it and you're left with about a cup of pomegranate seeds. So this is what came out of one pomegranate. So not only is doing this version cheaper than doing this, because remember, $3 versus $1.29, but we also got more pomegranate seeds out. And another thing you need to keep in mind is if you're gonna buy it where the seeds are already out of the pomegranate, you have about a two day window to use these because they go bad super fast. So if you're not gonna use these within two to three days, then put them in the freezer. Um, but this is definitely an easier way to go because if you buy the fresh pomegranate, you can keep this in your fridge for a couple of weeks before you decide to seed it. So you're gonna get a little bit longer life out of it. Now, I we have lots of recipes on Eat Real America where you can find pomegranate. Um, but I wanna tell you one other thing. So if this happens to have a place at your holiday table, I want you to one, look at the ingredient label, and then I want you to try something new. So my challenge for you is for you to try one of our cranberry recipes on eatrealamerica.com. This is the Christmas cranberry salsa. So this actually has fresh cranberries and pomegranates in it, and it is going to be so much more flavorful and look prettier than this. Um, and we have other ideas too that not only are great just to serve with pita chips or even tortilla chips, um, but this Christmas cranberry salsa would be fantastic with your holiday turkey. So I hope this inspires you to try a pomegranate. It's one of our favorites. And please let us know what you think and let us know if you try one of these recipes and if it's a hit with your family and friends. And keep it simple and eat real.